Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Kingdom Walk. I am Sonia Chambers, and we're just going to come in worshiping the Lord. We're thanking him for his goodness and his mercy. We're thanking him for this Labor Day holiday weekend. We're thanking him for this first set the day in September. And we thank him that we're in the ninth month in the first day, and God is about to do some miraculous things. Uh, we're going to be stepping into a new series for this month of September. Of course, Kingdom Walk is going to be having a variety of different days throughout the month. Uh, so tonight is Friday night, and it's 9 o'clock, and we're going to get started shortly. Uh, this September, the series was called the Cosmetic Series. And each um, segment that I uh, teach about will be related to some makeup brand. Amen. So I just want to let's give God honor and glory and praise tonight. And as we move forward, let's start this cosmetic series. And tonight's series is called MAC. And actually, I think my lipstick is MAC. MAC is a brand that I purchased it from um, Macy's and others. You know, you have it in different places like Sephora. And tonight we're going to talk about this MAC. So before I get started on MAC, I wanted to talk about the word cosmetic. And synonyms for the word cosmetic is corrective, superficial, makeup, non-essential, which is a painful word that uh, your cosmetics is non-essential. It says restorative, it says surface, it says gooky, and it says improving. Now, um, how I ended up on this cosmetic series, we'll see where the Holy Spirit takes us because uh, this were all the words he gives and all the walks he gives are his. So tonight I want to ask us, what is your makeup? What is our makeup? You know, what cosmetics do we use? What do you use? Do you use Because I'll be teaching about MAC tonight. I'll be teaching about NARS. I'll be teaching about Maybelline Fit. I'll be teaching about CoverGirl. But there's so many brands, Sephora, so many different brands that are out there. But tonight, I want to share with you what the Federal Food and Drug Co and Cosmetic Act says. It's called the FD&C Act. It says it defines cosmetics as articles intended to be rubbed, poured, sprinkled, or sprayed on, introduced into or otherwise applied to the human body for cleansing, for beautifying, promoting attractiveness, or altering the appearance. Included in this definition are several products. So tonight, I want us to talk about MAC. And tonight, this uh, word MAC, this cosmetic MAC is an acronym. And tonight, it means move around caring. Are we really be utilizing the MAC that we are supposed to be? Are we really moving around and caring? So the scripture tonight, it starts with Matthew 25, verses 34 to 40. And I'm reading in NLT. And I'm going to go straight through the scripture. It says, then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink or a stranger and show you hospitality or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth. When you did it for to one of the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were doing it for me. And tonight we have to we have to start to move around caring. There's so many people hurting, so many issues that are going on, so many sacrifices are uh, uh, that are being made. We're seeing inflation, we're seeing frustration. Where children are going back to school, people are get, you know being pressured to go back to work, you know from doing at home jobs, and now it's changing their 
you know, these remote jobs are now diminishing and it's changing the whole uh, schematic of their lifestyle. And are we really moving around and checking on our neighbors? Are we checking on our friends? So last week we, uh, at Standard Bear Ministries Gather in New York City, we did an outreach to our community and we call it, um, we've been doing several throughout the parks, but it's called Neighborhood Connect. But we did a front yard neighborhood barbecue because so many times we're not able to even find out the issues and circumstances of others because we're always in our backyard. And because our backyard is our private space, our fences may be up, uh, especially in New York City, we have a lot of fences and you don't really get to connect. You don't really get to move around and share. You don't get to move around and care. So we opted to move to the front and we invited our neighbors to be a part of it because it's something we've done in the past. And what a blessing it was to, to, to meet people, uh, you know, that we've never met before to talk to our neighbors and to sit. And I, you know, I started to talk to the Lord about it. And I said, you know, help me to move around and care more. Help me to not just be a cosmetic, help me not to be a makeup, not to look the part and not be the part to speak the thing and not walk it out to talk it, but not walk it. So the goal tonight is to encourage each and every one of us on this kingdom walk that this is not a time to be made up. This is not a time to be superficial. We need to start moving around and caring about others and sharing with others and telling them about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because that's the number one thing you can do because you can lend people money. You can buy someone lunch. You can talk on the phone. You can text, but the reality is where is your soul going to be when it leaves your body? Where will you be in eternity? So when we start moving around caring, then eventually we're going to have to start moving around sharing. And this moving around sharing is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we can't shrink back on that. We can't pull back on that. We have to move forward. The scripture says in Matthew, whenever you do anything kind, when you go and visit someone in the prison, when you go and feed someone that's uh, homeless and hungry, when you do it, when you do it to the least of these, you're doing it for Christ. You're doing it for Christ's sake. He is seeing that. And I want to go to the next scripture, which is Proverbs 19:17 in NLT. And I want to say to you tonight, you will be paid but maybe not the way you think. It says, if you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord and he will repay you. And sometimes we're looking from accolades, from people, someone to pat us on the back, for a leader to pat us on the back, for a family to pat us on the back. But the reality is as we do things for the Lord, it's him that is going to pay. Who, who are you going to serve? Or who are you serving for? And those are the questions we have to ask ourselves because we have to be much more concrete, especially when you're outside on the streets, because there's all sorts of people, all nationalities, all religions. So we have to fortify ourselves with the word of God as we move around caring. Our issue is not to move. The job is not to be just a move around Christian because we do that. We do a bunch of busy work. You know, I did this for church. I did this thing. You have this, you know, we have a checklist of, I went to prayer meeting. I went to women's meeting. You know, I I, I went to um, to serve the homeless. I went to the nurse, like this checklist. And then after we did all of that, then we went to the diner. But the reality of the situation is, are we moving around caring every day? Are we cutting someone off and then not really being as caring and we don't want to be moving around cussing. So we got to pull that in in Jesus' name. We have to represent Christ. When we are moving around, we're moving around like Christ. And when we're moving around like Christ, we're moving around in love, compassion, courteous, kind. Ouch, right? But this is a cosmetic series because a lot of times we, we, we're all made up. We tell everyone about Jesus. We tell them about, you know, how he died for them, how he, you know, how he loves them, but we're not being loving. And the, this initial scripture in Matthew 25 says, if whatever, so the same thing that he's saying, when you clothe someone, when you took care of someone that was sick, you were doing it to him. 
So do you not realize that the opposite is the true? When you tell someone off, when you're frustrated with them and not patient, do we not realize that we, when we're refusing people at times, that we could be refusing Christ? So are we really wearing our Mac? And this, you know, the ladies, men do wear uh, makeup as well, especially when they're on television and, and preaching and different things. But tonight, you know, it's about Mac. Are we moving around caring? Are we caring for the least of these? Are we caring for the shut-in? Are we caring for the seniors? Are we caring for the children? Oh, God. Because sometimes we forget about the children. You know, we have orphans all over uh, so many nations in Asia and Africa. And sometimes we forget, you know, that the same way that we're feeling inflation, those places are inflated as well. So we have to remember that it's not our Christian walk is not a cosmetic. It's not something that just is superficial. It's not just made up. Mm. There's a king that we're serving. His name is Jesus Christ. There's a heart that we got to surrender to him. You got to accept him as Lord and Savior. Oh, God. You have to accept him as Lord and Savior. We can't just move around and just ignore what's going on. Put a ton of blind eye. When Jesus, even when Jesus walked around, a woman touched the hem of his garment and, and drew virtue. And just because of that touch, he was able to, to sense that something changed. Are we those Christians? Are we moving around and sensing the atmosphere, the spiritual atmosphere of what's going on? That when we go somewhere, we just know we should pray. That when we see someone, we say, we can ask someone, are you okay? Or are we just going around with blinders on deciding that, you know, it's just me, Jesus, and myself. Well, I beg to differ with us tonight. You know, we, we're going to remove the cosmetics. It's time. It's, you know, the, you know, when you go into places like Marshalls, you you get those wipes and you take the makeup. It's time to take the. It's time to utilize a wipe and wipe off to some of the issues and the circumstances that stop people from being drawn to Christ because we're not moving around caring. So it's time to put our Mac on. And I want to read uh, to you. Galatians 5 13 because there's freedom when you care there's freedom when you serve there's freedom when you love and the scripture says you my brothers and sisters were called to be free but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh rather serve one another humbly in love and that's what I want to encourage us tonight that we need to not just indulge our flesh and just be, you know, caring about me, myself, and I. But we want to serve others humbly and in love. We want to care about others. And as we do those things, as we show those attributes to the world, they will be drawn to him. Because the a lot of people will never know Christ until they meet you. And it's time to remove the makeup. It's time to put on the Mac. It's time to move around and be a Christian. It's time to move around and be caring. It's time to move around and be concerned about not only yourself, but others. And as you serve others and help others, God will mm, add to you. He is the one that will pay. Do not look to the left or to the right. Do not look to man or to woman, but look up from where your help comes. It comes from him. So tonight, I want to encourage you. It's time to put on the Mac. It's time for us to care, to be concerned, and to be Christ-like. It's time for us to share the gospel like never before, because time is winding up. We're at a critical time in Christendom, and there's no time to, to cover up and act like we don't know who we are in Christ. So I pray this word encourage you. Uh, the next teaching will be on the make um, cosmetic called NARS, and I will put that out when I think that's in a week and a half from now. But I encourage you, it's time 
to be all we should be in Christ. So God bless you all. I love you all. Uh, Standard Bear Ministries, our next, uh, uh, in New York City, our next fellowship will be here in um, Rosedale, Queens on sub Sunday, September 24th at 10 a.m. And we'll be continuing to do a series of outreaches, uh, you know, giving out snacks and tracks in the different parks and on the streets in the highways and byways. We are a ministry that is going to be outside the walls because that is how someone will be able to touch us. So I encourage you, if you would like to donate, you just go to standardbearerny.org and you can donate to assist us and buy more waters to put out on the streets, more snacks and more tracks. And I encourage you, it's time to do your part. I will never know everyone that you know, but the people that you do know, it's time to, to touch your sphere of influence and start to introduce them to Christ in Jesus' name. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you even now. I thank you for your anointing that is flowing even now on each and every one of us, that we will not be hidden, that we will stand up and speak for you. We will encourage others. We will love others. We will care for others. We will be concerned about others. And Father, we will forever give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. And we thank you that we'll be drawing people to say, what must I do to be saved in Jesus' name? We are ready, God, to take the streets for you in Jesus' name. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we're going to walk this walk out as kingdom citizens, knowing that every step your spirit is with us. Mm. And we will not walk timid. We will not be fearful. We will just be careful. And we will be led by the spirit and speak to those who come in our sphere of influence. If they come within three feet and they speak, we should be able to speak up for you in Jesus' name. We should show the attributes of you, God, showing love, kindness, tender mercy, be long-suffering, not have an attitude, fix our faces so that people will want to come into churches and our places. So, Father, we give you honor and glory tonight in Jesus' name. And we magnify you tonight. And we thank you, oh God, that we're going to not just talk it, but we're going to walk it in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. So, God bless you all. I love you all. Um, thank you for tuning in. I, I just want you to be aware Kingdom Walk is going to be moving around on dates and days. Because as you walk as a kingdom citizen, you can't be just so calculated. Life is not Sunday from 9 to 11 or on Saturday from 10 to 12. As we walk, if we're being led by the Spirit, then we're going to have to flow with the Spirit. And the Holy Spirit does not do the same thing the same day every day. So that is why Kingdom Walk is now in a flow. So we are just going to flow with the days that the Lord gives us. And um, thank you for tuning in. I am Sonia Chambers. I'm the Apostolic Leader of Kingdom Advancement Alliance, which is in New York and Florida. And I'm the Senior Pastor and Overseer of Standard Bearer Ministries in New York City, in upstate New York and Rochester, as well as in Florida. And we thank you for tuning in. God bless you all. Enjoy this Labor Day weekend. Be safe. Enjoy your family. But first of all, let your light shine that men will see and glorify God. Put on your Mac. Have a good night.